ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by um, applauding the minister for his diligent sense of duty about matters like this. Um, this has been announced as one of government's pivotal programs in an effort to address the matter of government's capital ex expenditure from both sides. You want to save on some, but you also want to provide an opportunity for people to find work, especially in these times. And I salute him about his diligence with respect to this particular program. Certainly, I applaud him for giving some attention to this building. You know, when I was a part of the Barbara Slim Party, and the Barbara Slim Party was in administration up until 2008, just before we left office, uh, the then Prime Minister had agreed with me that we should make use of this building for the purpose of providing a community facility. It was supposed to be a technology resource center and a home for the St. Michael West um, Secretariat, and therefore a community project where people, where young people, especially in these areas, going to be blessed with enhanced skills. Um, it's not going to be used for that purpose, obviously, um, now, but at least it's coming back into proper use. And I understand the welfare department is going to be located here. And if government can save on what we're expending in rentals, especially in these days where we're short of cash, then it is a thing to be pursued. I, I would just urge um, this minister, I know he's very diligent, I know he's straightforward, he gives us uh, a legitimate voice to which we can listen at all times. I would just urge him, because it is of a public concern, that we're spending $65 million annually in public office, public service rental, office rentals. And um, I think people want to know uh, some details with respect to that. I'm not trying to be troublesome. I appreciate the courtesy of being here. But I think it would be in the interest of government, interest of this minister, if people can know uh, how that $65 million is apportioned. Because there's a lot of money being spent every year. And I'm glad that some of it will be saved when we can bring this building back into use at a fairly minimal cost, from what I hear, seven hundred thousand dollars. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Bishop Avali. And uh, just uh, a, a layer of fears: yes, we do spend a lot on rental. But having said that, a lot of that rental is investment by the national insurance uh, scheme. And the national insurance scheme, as you know, over the years has built a lot of rental accommodation. I'll give you an example: the CXC building. And, that, uh, and another one, a lot of the buildings in Warrens were in fact built by the National Insurance Scheme. And yes, uh, of course, the public have a right to know how the rent is, is, is spent. But uh, granted, it is we check very, very carefully and renegotiate rentals at all times. So it's not something we take lightly and we're continuing to look at it constantly. 